What if we're not alone and the proof is hiding in plain sight right behind our own sun? We know that our galaxy is home to hundreds of billions of planets, but what if one of them sent us a visitor? A brand new object, 3i divided by Atlas, has entered our solar system and it is breaking all the rules. In fact, some astronomers, like Professor Avi Loeb, are arguing that 3i divided by Atlas could be a nuclear-powered alien spacecraft. Loeb says the Hubble picture appears to show the object emitting its own light. When 3i divided by Atlas first appeared, it was a beautiful visitor from the faraway dark. But the newest findings tell a different story, one that unsettles the brightest minds on Earth. Strange patterns, odd movements, and unexplained signals have left scientists uneasy. What they've just uncovered has turned fascination into worry, and the mystery is only deepening. When scientists initially observed the strange glow coming from an object in space, they believed it was just sunlight reflecting off a dusty cloud, just like with comets. The explanation appeared straightforward at first. As the object moved through space, it emitted dust, and sunlight reflected off these small particles, producing a glowing appearance visible from Earth. However, as more research and extensive calculations were conducted, the narrative evolved, uncovering something much more mysterious. The test revealed that only a very small amount of dust was being let out. Experts determined that the dust was incredibly sparse. This value was so minuscule that it could not explain the level of brightness they were seeing. In simple terms, this thinness is referred to as optically thin. To put it plainly, it means that although the dust is present, there are so few particles spread out that they do not obstruct or scatter light effectively. Essentially, the dust cloud is close to being invisible. This is a critical problem for the comet theory. If the glowing isn't coming from the dust, the light must either be reflecting off a very large solid surface or the object is generating the light itself. Upon making this discovery, a thought-provoking question emerged. If the dust was not dense enough to justify the intense light, then where was the actual origin of the brightness? As per thorough examinations, it was revealed that the light did not emanate from the dust after all. Rather, it seemed to be radiating directly from the surface of the object. Harvard professor Avi Loeb said that the interstellar object was shining much brighter than expected because its surface was reflecting sunlight in a unique way. He mentioned that for it to shine so brightly, the object must be quite large. If the surface did not reflect sunlight well, the object would need to be about 6.2 miles across. Even if it reflected light perfectly, like a mirror, it would still have to be several miles in size. In any case, the object was not just a small rock floating in space. That detail alone was truly remarkable. If the object was simply a regular rock, it would only enter our solar system from interstellar space once every 10,000 years. This makes such an encounter extremely uncommon, increasing the fascination of the mystery. However, there was additional information to consider. Instead of emitting a simple white or yellow light, the object had a noticeable reddish hue. This specific detail was significant to astronomers. A red tint can indicate the presence of intricate organic substances on the surface. We call these tholins, which are formed over billions of years due to exposure to cosmic rays and ultraviolet light. This characteristic is commonly observed on Kuiper Belt objects like Arakoth, a remote icy body with a deep red exterior. But Lowe proposed an even more intriguing idea. He implied that the reddish glow might not actually be from sunlight bouncing off the object. What if the object was emitting its own light? This would suggest that the interstellar visitor was not simply a rock, but something far more remarkable. It could indicate that the object was internally powered, possibly utilizing energy similar to advanced spacecraft, possibly even through nuclear energy. The idea was bold and interesting. A rock shining because of sunlight is one thing, but a spaceship from another star system creating its own light would completely alter our perspective. It would indicate that the glow is not just a reflection, but a result of some kind of internal process, which nature alone might not be able to account for easily. This is where the scientific principle of Occam's razor, 
the simplest explanation is usually best. Clashes with anomalous data. Most scientists will bet on a natural, if weird, explanation. But the more anomalies pile up, the more you have to consider explanations that are less simple. For several months, scientists observed three eye divided by Atlas floating in space closely. They carefully examined every aspect of its unusual path. Initially, they thought it might behave like a typical comet with shiny gas streams and luminous tails. However, it turned out to be unique. When scientists checked the surface, they made an unexpected discovery. Very little material had eroded, with only a tiny amount measuring just a fraction of a nanometer. This indicated that the object had journeyed a long distance without undergoing much change. The core of its structure, known as the nucleus, remained unharmed and mostly intact as it traveled through the solar system. This was uncommon for comets, as they typically disintegrate when approaching the Sunday. However, that was just the start of the puzzling situation. Typically, comets emit dust and gas when they pass by the sun, creating a fuzzy glowing coma and a visible tail. In contrast, 3I divided by Atlas did not exhibit these features. It lacked a dense dust cloud and a glowing tail. It did not emit the expected comet-like brightness. 3I divided by Atlas's behavior seemed odd and different from what we know about icy comets. It appeared to be more like a rocky piece or something unique from a distant place outside our solar system. Its lack of movement, sound and glowing made it stand out as unusual and not following the norms of space. The mystery got more confusing. Professor Avi Loeb and others noticed some details that brought up even more serious questions. Normally, visitors from other star systems come into our solar system from all sorts of different angles and paths, not following the same flat orbits as the planets. This flat plane is called the ecliptic. But 3I divided by Atlas was different. It followed a path that was almost exactly in line with the same ecliptic plane where all the planets orbit the Sunday. This type of alignment seemed unbelievable. The likelihood of it occurring by chance was extremely, you know, extremely low at 0.2%. But there it was, fitting perfectly into the orbital path of our planets. The way it moved appeared intentional, similar to the meticulously planned courses of spacecraft launched from Earth. We launch our probes on the ecliptic because it's the most efficient way to get to other planets. The fact that an interstellar object entered on that exact plane is, to skeptics, a massive coincidence. To Loeb, it's a clue. The mystery became more complex as it kept moving. During its journey, 3I divided by Atlas came very near to Venus, Mars and Jupiter, which are some of Earth's closest neighboring planets. This was a rare occurrence, as the chances of this happening without intention were very low, about 0.00005%. It seemed like the object deliberately chose its route to intersect with the planets that are significant to us, almost like a flyby mission. However, the journey of 3I divided by Atlas took another unexpected turn. When it got closest to the sun, its perihelion, something extraordinary occurred. During this time, Earth was on the opposite side, hidden from view. The sun was positioned directly between our planet and the mysterious object, making it completely invisible from Earth, even with our advanced technology. This was more than just a random event. The likelihood of this alignment happening was only about 7%. While it wasn't impossible, the probability was low enough to make people curious. It appeared as if the object deliberately went behind the sun to avoid being seen from Earth. Right when we were eager to observe it at its most active, it positioned itself where we couldn't see it. This is called a solar conjunction, and it's the perfect time for an object to make a maneuver or hide its true nature knowing our telescopes are blind. Not all scientists agree with the bold statements made about this mysterious interstellar visitor. Some experts find Loeb's theories lacking in evidence and credibility. They argue that without more solid proof, it is dangerous to consider his views as truth. They refer to some observations that initially indicate the object is just a regular comet. One study suggested the presence of water ice, which aligns with the characteristics of a typical comet traveling through space. 
However, as researchers delved further into the matter, they discovered something unexpected. They started to analyze the spectrum more closely, observing the behavior of light and energy as they reflected off the object. The results they obtained did not align with the conventional understanding of water ice. Instead of seeing a decrease in the signal as predicted by the model, they observed an increase in signals. Conversely, where the model anticipated an increase, the signals actually decreased. These discrepancies were significant and could not be ignored. It seemed as though the universe was hinting that this object was more unique than initially thought. Scientists had more questions than answers because of the mismatch. They were unsure if the object was really a comet or something more unusual that mandated further investigation to determine. Many agreed that the object was difficult to classify. More accurate data was necessary to solve the mystery, which remained unsolved until then. Avi Loeb was fascinated by the strange signals and the path the object would follow after passing close to the Sunday. The object's journey could provide important clues that might have a significant impact on everything. Loeb suggested that if the object deviated from the projected path after its closest approach on October 29th, 2025, it could mean something alarming. There could be concerns that the object was not just a rock or ice, but possibly a piece of advanced technology created by beings from another planet. This discovery could cause great upheaval in the world, including financial markets reacting to the possibility of extraterrestrial technology being involved. In 2017, a mysterious object called Oumuamua passed by our solar system. Just like the recent visitor, it brought with it many mysteries. Umumua baffled scientists when it sped up slightly after getting close to the sun in a way that couldn't be explained by gravity alone. It appeared as though there was some unseen force giving it a push, making experts question what exactly caused its movement. Years later, another mysterious visitor is now speeding through space. Currently, 3i divided by Atlas is traveling at a speed of almost 152,000 miles per hour. To comprehend this speed, think about going around the Earth multiple times in just one hour. However, in the grand scheme of the universe, this is just another trip for a tiny speck crossing immense empty regions of darkness. Currently, the object is floating approximately 3.8 times further from the Sun than Earth. However, it is expected to have a series of exciting encounters in the near future. On October 3rd, 2025, it will pass close to Mars as it moves closer to the Sunday. 20 days later, on October 23rd, it will reach its closest point to the Sun, still at a safe distance, twice the distance of Earth from the Sun. At that time, Earth will be on the other side of the Sun, so there is no risk of any danger. The object will come closest to Earth in December 2025, but it will not come very close. At that time, it will be getting ready to move away from the solar system and will not return. This brief visit is all we will have, and then it will disappear into the vast, quiet void of interstellar space again. Perhaps the most fascinating aspect of it all is not where it's heading or the unusual signals it's sending out, but its age. This object is unbelievably ancient, at least 7 billion years old, maybe even older. To put that into perspective, our solar system is only 4.6 billion years old. This means that when our sun was just starting to shine and the planets were still forming, this object was already very old. It's not just an ancient rock. It's a relic from a second generation of star systems formed from the dust of stars that lived and died before our sun was even born. It holds the history of a time before our planet existed, a remnant of the universe's distant past. What exactly is this visitor? At first glance, it could easily be mistaken for a comet. Its bright, icy appearance, lengthy tail, and silent journey give off a sense of familiarity. However, upon closer inspection, the discrepancies in its patterns, unusual signals, and the mysterious implications of its movements hint at something more mysterious. When scientists initially pointed the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, at the interstellar comet 3, I divided by Atlas, they were expecting to observe something peculiar. However, the images they captured were astonishing. 
The telescope provided evidence that this comet had a remarkable secret hidden within its icy core. The research on 3i divided by Atlas started shortly after it was found in July, and scientists understood right away that it was not like other comets. Most comets in our solar system come from nearby, but 3i divided by Atlas came from a far distance which made it very uncommon. Only two other interstellar objects had been identified before this one, making it a valuable chance for researchers to gather information before it disappeared into space forever. On August 6th, scientists took the first images using the James Webb Space Telescope, using its powerful near-infrared spectrograph, NearSpec, to analyze the light emitted by an object. The results were unexpected, as they discovered a higher than usual amount of carbon dioxide, CO2, in the comet's glowing atmosphere, known as a coma. As comets get closer to stars, their icy materials heat up and release gas and dust, in a process called outgassing. This forms a glowing halo called a coma, which becomes brighter as the comet nears the star. The Comet 3, I divided by Atlas, had a rare composition with a high amount of carbon dioxide instead of the usual water vapor found in most comets. This unique chemistry is a massive clue. It suggests that this comet may have originated from a very different place than our own solar system. In our system, water ice is plentiful. A comet rich in CO2 but poor in water suggests it formed in an extremely cold outer region of its home star system, far beyond where water would freeze, in a place dominated by frozen carbon dioxide. The scientists propose that the makeup of 3i divided by Atlas could have different implications. It's possible that 3i divided by Atlas was subjected to higher radiation levels throughout its lifespan compared to regular comets. Alternatively, it could have originated near the CO2 ice line in its parent protoplanetary disk. This disk of gas and dust surrounding a young star is where celestial bodies like planets, asteroids, and comets form. This suggests that 3i divided by Atlas was influenced by unique conditions not seen in typical comets. With each new discovery, more fascinating information about this extraordinary traveller was revealed. Travelling at speeds greater than 130,000 miles per hour, it was following a path that appeared unusually smooth and straight, unlike the usual curved orbit seen in our solar system. Its rapid movement indicated that it was not under the gravitational pull of our sun, but was simply passing by a visitor that would never come back once it left. Originally, estimates suggested that 3i divided by Atlas was approximately seven miles wide, which would have made it one of the biggest comets ever seen. However, further measurements from the Hubble Space Telescope revised this estimate to around 3.5 miles wide. Despite its smaller size, it was still considered impressive and likely the largest interstellar object ever detected. In addition to its size, its age was also remarkable. Some studies indicated that it could be as old as three billion years older than the solar system itself. This means it existed long before our sun and planets were even formed, carrying secrets from a time and place that is unimaginably distant. However, despite all the findings, one question remained unanswered. Where did 3i divided by Atlas originate from? No telescope had successfully identified its exact star system of origin. So what's the big lesson here? The story of 3i divided by Atlas, whether it's a natural comet or something more, is a powerful reminder that the universe is far stranger and more complex than we can imagine. It teaches us to stay curious, to question our assumptions, and to recognize that we are just beginning to explore the vast cosmic ocean. The data that contradicts our models isn't a failure. It's the most exciting part of science. It's the clue that leads to the next great discovery. What do you think 3i divided by Atlas is? Is it a natural anomaly from a star system older than our own? Or is it the first solid proof of extraterrestrial technology? Let us know your theories in the comments below. And if you love exploring the biggest mysteries of the cosmos, make sure to subscribe for more deep dives.